Hello everyone, my name is Highway Trooper and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to install Scene Manager to your LSPDFR. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Internet Explorer, click the link down below which will be a link to this mod right here which is the Scene Manager script to your LSPDFR. So this basically will make your LSPDFR much much easier when you're trying to make a good scene. So it creates custom paths for AI to follow. It can also you can also create custom waypoint options to modify AI driving speed and behavior. You can also direct the nearest driver to a selected path. You can also dismiss nearest driver to release them from your path and cone management menu to add and remove cones around your scene. So this will just make your LSPDFR 100% more realistic as you can see in the photos here. And uh, if it won't let me scroll across, but you can also see it in this photo. Excuse me, here, my uh, internet explorer seems to be having a stroke. You can also see it in this photo here. And it seems to be doing it again. I'm just going to go back, and there we go. Right, excuse that. So now, the first thing you're going to want to do. Is you're going to make sure you need to have Rage Native UI. Na Rage Native UI. Excuse my English there. That was diabolic. Make sure you have that. And I've done it again. There we go. I'll remember not to do that now. So, first thing you want to do is obviously make sure you have Rage Native UI, as I just said. That'll be in my LSPDFR install video, which I'm going to be making a new one, as I realised that that video mic quality wasn't very good. And now I've improved a lot, and I'm on 105, so there's a lot of people who are new to my channel, and they'll probably want to see a better quality video on how to do that. So I will 100% make a video on that very, very soon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click download this file, agree and download. This is the old version, so you don't want that, you want the version 1.7, so the main file, it will tell you here. Download that. Now what you want to do is you want to wait for that into the stall. When that is installed, it'll pop up down here. Should pop up down there. You can open, save, or save as, up to you. Now you want to bring up your GTA 5 main directory. So for you, that's either going to be in whatever disk you've installed it on. So for me, that is going to be my D. But I'm going to walk you through my C because that's where my Windows is installed and that's where a lot of your Windows will be installed and your GTA will be installed. So what you want to do is go to Program Files 86. Then you want to go to Steam. Then you want to go to Steam Apps and then common. As you can see here, here are all your different Steam games you've chosen to install on your different drives. So now I'm going to go where to my actual GTA, modern GTA is installed. So for me, I'm going to be installing it on this version here. So what you want to do is you actually want to bring up your install here. Excuse my computer seems to be having a stroke. I have no clue why. Excuse that flashing. I can't really stop it. So now what you want to do is you want to open up the Grand Theft Auto file. You want to make sure you have these two files here, plugins and Rage Native UI. Now what you want to do is highlight these both and drag. And it will ask you to replace your Rage Native UI. You want to do that. You don't you don't want to click skip, you just want to click replace like that. And you've now successfully installed Scene Manager into your LSPDFR. Hope you guys found this video useful. I hope the flashing wasn't too disturbing. I'm going to make sure that I reset my computer before I do the next video, which is lined up here, so you guys don't have a stroke whilst trying to watch my video. Thank you guys very much for 100 subscribers. I seem to have gained about 5 today, which is a world record for my channel. 5 subscribers in one day, which is insane. Uh, I just can't believe it. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.